Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial for you on the basics of using the print module to print your photos at home. So in Lightroom, um, up here you've got all the, the main ones that you use here, and then you've got print over here to the right and this will allow you to choose all the margins and everything for your prints and how you want them to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a photo. Let's just say I will choose... Uh, which one should I choose? I think I'll, I'll I'll just go with this one. And what I'll do, so I'll bring that up and then I'll go into print. Now I've got this set up for 6x4 um, just because I did a couple of little prints at home for myself. But what I'll do first thing is go to page setup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my printer so it formats it for my specific printer. And then I'm going to choose the paper size. So here you've got uh, different types of paper size which you can use with this printer. So I've got some A4 print pa uh, A4 photo paper in there at the moment, so I'm just going to go A4. I can go borderless, um, and that does take away that white edge around it, but just for this one I'm going to go normal A4. And then here you can choose your orientation. You want to put it in landscape so the image flips and you get it as this full um, horizontal image instead of being cut off in portrait mode. Okay. So there we go, that's the basis of getting the page set up right. Uh, and next we'll go down here to layout. So what you can do is you can bring, take all of these sliders down, make sure they're all at the bottom. And then here you go down to cell size. So cell size you can bring up all the way like that. And then you can bring the width up and that will bring your photo into the full size that the paper can take. So uh, if you shoot in say a 3 by 2 ratio and you want to print the image in that, you have to get a type of printer paper that works with that ratio. So 6 by 4, uh, 12 by 8 and so on and so forth as it goes up and up and up. As long as it sticks to that ratio um, it will be okay. So this is 11.37 by 8 inches which is roughly 12 by 8, just a little bit less, so it's not showing the full image, um, but it is showing the huge majority of it. Um, these bits you don't really need to worry about, page grid, columns, they're just to create you know, collages and things like that, uh, which I'm not going to show you in this one. Um, this is just the basics one. So we'll scroll down here. Um, you can leave all these turns on, it just shows the dimensions and the grids and everything like that. So you can do an, an identity plate, which is default, that will come up, and then you can put a, put text in there. I untick that and put watermark, and then I choose my watermark so that it will always come up in the bottom right corner where I chose it to be. And down here, this is your main, your main section. So you want to print to a printer. Uh, draft mode printing you can leave off. Print resolution, uh, I usually leave mine about 300 dpi, it gives pretty good, pretty good quality in the final image. Print sharpening you can choose if you want to do this, low standard or high. So let's just go, uh, let's just go standard for now. Glossy, matte or glossy depending on what type of paper you've got. 16 bit output you can tick that uh, if you want, it does make the prints look quite nice. Um, the color profile. Now this is an important one, you ma you don't want to do managed by printer because that will usually go wrong. Um, here where it's got Canon IJ color printer profile, that is a that was actually pre-installed when I uh, installed my printer, so that came up and Lightroom detected that. But if you don't have your ICC profile, that's what this is called, uh, you can Google it for your type of printer. So if you printed Canon uh, Pixma MP280, which is the one that I'm using at the moment, it will say um, that it doesn't have its own ICC profile, it works with this one best. So that's why I'm using that. Um, and then intent, uh, perceptual or relative, uh, I always leave mine on perceptual. And then brightness, this is where you can add just for print. So if I drag this up and down, it won't change the image here whatsoever. But um, when it prints, it will add brightness into the image because on a Mac screen, uh, it, the colors are usually pretty good depending how well your monitor is calibrated. The colors are usually pretty good, but the blacks are a little bit darker. 
Um, so what I'm doing is adding brightness up to about plus 22. That usually makes my image uh, come out quite nicely. And you can add contrast in there as well if you want. Um, that's only just to, that's on the print quality. It won't show you a preview here. So next I'm going to go down here to print settings. Uh, so I've got Canon MP280, uh, default settings, I don't need to change that because I've done it all here. I'm going to change this down to quality and media, and then media type, uh, on the box that you buy the photo paper in, it should tell you what type of paper it is. So I know mine is photo paper glossy plus two, and the source is the rear tray because there's only one tray in my printer. I'm going to go print quality high and I will click save. So once I've done all that, that print should be ready to go. And if you want to print, go for it. Uh, you can go through and check out some of these other ones. I will end up doing tutorials on all of this stuff, so it's a bit more understanding, but this is just the basics, and then all you do is simply hit print. That will prepare the print job. Once that's done, the printer will start printing, and you'll have your print. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Check out more videos like this in the Lightroom Learning Center under the Get Creative tab. Um, so I will see you in the next video.